your blog peeps and YouTube cats, it's Fashion Haley with a little uh, video about my shopping experience with Strawberry Net. So as we all know, Strawberry Net supplies cosmetics, makeup, perfumes um, for really, really, really cheap prices. So as a MAC lover, I was really excited um, to be able to order my favourite eyeliner, which I've been using since I picked up in, it in Japan a year ago. So it's the um, MAC Eye Coal um, Crayon in Smolder. Um, I've used it in, you know, once, once really long, now it's quite small. Um, I absolutely love it. I wear it every day. In fact, right now I'm wearing it. If I just move my glasses, you can see I love my eyeliner. So, um, on Strawberry Net, I saw that they had um, the eyeliner for $15. So, I sadly picked it up, put it into my shopping cart, and it got delivered. Free delivery, I think. It wasn't, you know, expensive at all. So, it, it came in this box. It says MAC. It looks perfectly fine. Um, you know, it's got its barcode, it's got its, you know, stuff that you never read about the ingredients. Um, you know, all that jazz that you expect a box will have. And the product itself looks fine, like it has the logo, you can see, um, and then it has all the other jazz that sits on the back. It says, I coal, crayon coal in smolder. It all says all that. But the only difference was, now I'll show you my original one. So, if I get my hand and I press lightly down, a really good thick black line that is quite dark um, is drawn. But with this one, when I do the same thing, I'll do it below, um, it's quite faint, in fact you can't see it at all. And <laughs> it's in fact useless. Um, so I was like, wow, what's wrong with this? Maybe it was a dodgy product. Actually, I never thought, like, originally that it was fake until I spoke to Henry's like, let's have a look at that. So what we did was <laughs> we compared the, um, the packaging. So, well, this one is a bit different to most because I picked it up in Japan. So it has a sticker that says the, the ingredients and stuff um, in Japanese. And that's all kind of, because it's been in my makeup case for a year, it's all kind of crap. And the lid itself is all cracked because it's been in my makeup case for a year. But... The MAC logo is really shiny and embossed, and the writing on the back is really shiny and embossed and has not rubbed away. Now, I've only had this new pencil in my pencil and um, my makeup case, not pencil case, for about a week, and already on the back, most of the back writing has rubbed off, and the MAC logo isn't as shiny in person, and it's not, like, you can feel that it's not embossed like the other one, like, it, it's not... There's not, it's not into the grooves, it's just printed on. So that's a difference there. So I went to MAC today and I bought myself a new one. So just comparing the two boxes, this is the new MAC, this is the old MAC. The one big noticeable difference is the, the one from Strawberry Net says, I coal, crayon coal, net weight, 1.45 grams. But the one I picked up at MAC in Paddington in Sydney says I coal crayon coal net weight 1.36 grams. So the grammage is different, which is a bit weird. And they also have um, the, the Oz, US Oz weight. I don't understand American uh, weight things at all. But yes, yeah, so the fake one says 0 0.05 US Oz. And the real one says 0 0.048 US Oz. So there's a little bit of difference there. So then in the new packet, I'll open up and show you. Here is the eyeliner. So yes, so the back is really shiny embossed. And it's you can feel when you rub your finger over it that it's embossed. And same with the logo, the MAC logo. But the biggest difference, so I'll draw this line right under the... Um, the faint line is wow, it draws a, f a black line that you know is actually usable. So that's my experience with shopping with Strawberry Net. I don't know if any of you guys have ever bought anything from Strawberry Net and have had um, like really good experiences or bad experiences like my one. I don't think I'll shop with them again. Um, I don't want to get 
crap products. I want to be able to use eyeliner and, you know, look good. I don't want to have like some shitty faint line in my eyes because, yeah, it just doesn't look good. But I am a MAC person, so this is my favorite foundation. It's Select SPF. Been using it for quite some time. Um, and that's all I wear foundation, eyeliner, and mascara. And for me, I don't care what mascara, cheapest mascara. Possibly should buy a neck mascara, maybe. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. So, this is my first video. Thank you guys. Have a nice day.